at the summit. And I have to say, this place is hopping. Tell me a little bit about it, Ken. Well, we are hopping because, as you see, there are residents everywhere. There's construction going on. We've just gotten back from our weekly trip to the grocery store. Those residents, some of our residents have cars, but they just choose the convenience of going with us as a group when we go to Kroger's. You may be able to hear construction noise in the background. We are working to refurbish, renew the entire reception area, new countertop, new functions, get rid of some of the clutter, but I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> and um, just improve our operations. We try to keep things fresh all the time here. And speaking of which, this is just a lovely area to live in, whether you're in the houses, out in the back, you know, overlooking the water, the mountains, everything like that, or if you're in the main building, even this area, there's a coffee bar. You're thinking about just making it a fun environment. Well, in this, this space, this coffee bar, this library behind me is the resident's extra space. They each have a private apartment or a private lakeside garden home. Mm. But this is also their space to come hang out, to come get some coffee, say hello to their neighbors, and uh, just come and go and travel and hang out and talk. And the nice thing, too, is that you can come here, make this your home, and basically age in place. Because we are, as you said, a retirement community with independent living. That's where we are now assisted living on campus for that time if you need assistance with activities of daily living, and then the health and rehab center if you need a little more care. We're out here on the rooftop terrace at the summit, and it's just beautiful out here. Tell me a little bit about your experiences and how you got here. Well, we, we moved from our residence here in the late January, and we were given an ideal apartment right there overlooking the lake and the mountains and incredible sunsets. And uh, we've loved our decision to come here. Uh, it's, it has been small. It has been quiet. Uh -huh. And it's just been an ideal location for us. And we've loved meeting the residents here and hearing their stories. And how did you both initially decide to come here? Well, uh, the executive director, Ken, and I are in a study group together. And he was aware that uh, Brenda had some health challenges. And he said to me, Nathan, don't wait too long because we were Advantage members for a number of years, meaning that we could choose our apartment when it became available mm -hmm. or turn it down. And we've, uh, I think it turned it down once, but we were ready this time uh, and uh, have been very pleased with that choice. And Brenda, what have you enjoyed about living here? Well, one big thing is music. I've loved music since childhood, and there are a lot of opportunities here for um, music and uh, sing-alongs throughout the year that are great and I've had a chance to accompany the choir when they sing at the chapel once a month and uh, we have b great birthday parties for the residents every month and we sing of course happy birthday and we have background piano music by a resident who's done beautifully with that uh, over the years and um, I just uh, it's it's great I really enjoy that and then um, I've gotten to work on my health a little bit and I'm walking the halls with the rollator and uh, feel safe you know with with that and a friend has joined me t a couple days a week and then I've also joined uh, chair yoga which oh, I think is going to be just uh -huh. my speed uh -huh. yeah and of course we have to ask an important issue what about the food <laughs> oh <laughs> well I came here with five allergies and so uh -huh. You know, not, most dishes have either onion or tomato, and but the staff has been wonderful to accommodate uh, my allergies and to provide alternatives, uh, so we feel cared for here very much. And it is great. I mean, it's a beautiful location. It's kind of in the heart of everything. You can easily get to places, or you could just stay here. And, and the summit provides transportation to shopping for groceries, for doctor's visits, for going for exercise. Uh, or walks or community programs so uh, you don't really have to have a car here you can you can have transportation made available to check out the beauty of the summit yourself they are located on Enterprise Drive in Lynchburg you can also give them a ring at 434-582-1500 or look them up online at summitlynchburg.com you can also find them on Facebook at the Summit Senior Living.